Okay. Right now I have no pressure. Imagine the pressure of a bike on there. Look what happens to that spot right in the middle. You see it flatten out? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? If we put a little bit of water in there, you'll see it flatten out. And now, right now you have just about from here to here, right? If you're loading that tire, look what happens. You got a whole tire. You're taking that one inch contact patch and you're turning it into a three inch contact patch. Mm -hmm. So now you go into a turn right just a little you got bit. three just inches of rubber all the way through. Right? So God forbid, no, well, again, we never tell you to grab or stab the brake. Mm -hmm. Right? But God forbid, you do panic a little bit when you're going wide, you should apply a little more. Bike's gonna stand straight up. Slow yourself down, you get right back. Right. You know? Right. It's, it's very crucial. And dude, we, we do it in the pits going to grab tires, even just going down to see each other. We're yeah, always on that yeah. I literally watched the tire come down. I was right yeah, behind him, it. and I saw the tire just go, <laughs> like a mushroom. Like So Moto America guys, you know that paint on the side of their tires? Do you yeah. know why it's there? It's Does not it to look cool. Wear markers? It's not to look cool. Mm -hmm. they, if they're breaking that front tire to where it's leaving the paint on the rim, they're not breaking hard enough. Data, baby. Not only Data. that, they take a front line or a line on their tires and they literally put a line from the rim of the tire. When they go around, after one race, that thing should move a quarter inch around. Hmm. That should actually move. On the rim? On the rim. Hmm. No beat ever sets. Even though no, but it's, I was explaining all hard some of these Moto America guys yeah. and shit are breaking in these turns to get that contact patch. Dude, they're putting hair gel in the tires. Like, you know when we sit there and lube the rim yeah. to get the tire on? There's hair putting spray. hairspray. Mm -hmm. what to, try to, to try to keep the rim stick from... it to the rim. Because they're braking so hard that it's not oh, putting the, the tire to pop. No, 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 no. The actual tire is moving inside the, the rim. The rim is moving inside the tire. Inside the tire. Yeah. From how much pressure they're applying. Pressure holding. they're applying yeah. in the brakes and on the gas. They're spinning all shit. All the, all the S1000 guys, all the leader bikes, oh, you'll see it. We'll put a mark right yep. here. Like I got a guy that we always mark the tire because he has carbon wheels. And he goes, I want to see how much it moved the session. I put it on fresh, mark the rim and the tire. By the time you come back after one session, it moved almost like literally a quarter of the tire. Just because they're that hard. Right. That's pretty cool to know. There's a lot of stuff that people don't realize. The actual tires moving on the rim, rim. while you're riding. Yes. Well, well, under, under, under braking yeah. and under throttle. So, so here's the other thing. When I do tires, right? If a guy comes back in and I just did his tire before and I marked it, balanced it, come back in and it's bent, I don't balance his tires anymore. There's no point to balance. No point. <laughs> every time he goes out, he's going to spin it. What's the point? Yeah, you're going to be balancing every time he goes it's, out. It's gonna be, yeah, it's going to shift no matter what. But I the front side, I don't do my rears. I don't do my rears. Yeah, the rears, nobody ever does. Who cares? 